Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22 as we continue our Swiss chocolate run here. And uh, got done with all the contracts, got done with all of the stuff for our grass. So really ready to just turn in that last contract there. Get us a little bit more money. And while well, I'm thinking about it, pay off the loan so we save a little bit of money there. And I think we're ready to fast forward to a new day. Cows are okay for the moment. Uh, nothing to sell, so let's just go. Let's see, next month there won't be much to do in our fields. We might check to see if there's any, like, just really, really good contracts. But otherwise, probably skipping ahead right away. Uh, it'll get us to November, which should give us one more time to mow. Eh, I mean, nothing here that we care about, so that's fine. And then contracts... Uh, definitely good fertilizing. Ah, oh, there's a sugar beet contract. We kind of need to do the sugar beet contract, don't we? Because the more sugar beets we have, the less that we have to even worry about making ourselves later on down the road. So, I think we're not even going to wait. We're going to go ahead and just grab this one for sure. Obviously, we've got to borrow the items. And we'll think about the others here in a moment. Um, this one's going to take us... Uh, what's the estimated time on that one? It doesn't say... Um, but I, I have to imagine it's probably about the same amount of time as one of these other ones. So there's a good chance we'll do either like the cotton or the sorghum at this point. Something else because we've got a big contract here that we've got to take care of. Are you just a puller? Oh man, this is not the fun sugar beet uh, harvester thing. Uh, I guess I should grab this weight real quick. Oh no, no, this is the guy that has the topper on the front. Well, what's the wait for? I'm actually not sure. Uh, which field are we doing? We're doing field 13. Part of the reason why this contract takes so long is because this thing does not hold that much. you set up get you rolling and then I can uh, go grab the trailers real quick all right sugar beach are going good stuff let's get you set up uh, you got two of the trailers that do not back up very well. So I'm actually just going to grab one trailer. What I might do is um, let's take our... I can always take our trailer over there, actually, come to think of it. Our trailer holds a bit more, doesn't it? This thing only holds... Uh, I'm actually not sure. Might as well take it over here because we're close, but I might come back and pick up our trailer to fill in the rest. He's already almost full. What's that? Is that going to go in? There it goes. It's going to be a lot of back and forth trips. That is for sure. 
Uh, let me grab you to bring another trailer over real quick. And I'm probably going to grab some more contracts as well. You get those set up because I have like this thing's going to keep us pretty busy going back and forth here frequently. All right, you're nearby. All right, let's check the other contracts. Actually, before I do that, let me grab some more money. Uh, let's check the other, the other contracts now. Uh, like I said, the harvesting, other harvesting contracts will probably be worth doing. Um, like field eight here, cotton. As long as we got, you know, time, we might as well. <laughs> I thought you were turning. <laughs> I love, still love the fact that that that, that uh, van is. More indestructible than our giant harvester. It's the John Deere cotton harvester we wish we had on our other map. Someday, maybe. Someday. He's already full again. So we'll top you off real quick. Okay, let me get out of the way, dude. Seriously. Oh my goodness. You gotta let me get out of the way. Oh boy. Alright, can we get you to travel over there while I get other things rolling? Uh, we are going to the supermarkets. Alright, let's get you going again. Where is eight? Actually across from 13. We'll take a shortcut, cause why not? Alright, I know you're full again, but I gotta get this guy started as well. A bit of a lag spike there. I'm actually gonna start you on this other end. Just because the angle uh, on the far side is more severe. We come at it from this direction. All right, get you going. It's a fancy. <laughs> Uh, get you to empty this guy out. If you can. Uh, 
All right, you are actually almost there. Good job. get this dropped off I guess we could take another contract because why not at this point if we're doing one might as well do them all the harvest ones for sure because they will they're all going to take a pretty good chunk of time all right, can I get you to travel back over here my friend we'll see how easily you able are able to do that not at all. How is it unreachable? Okay, can you come over here? Apparently you can do that. We'll come back to you. Um, let's see here. All right, contract number three. Probably you. Why not? Going to take 40 minutes. It's a corn one as well. Goodness. And, uh, Sunflower contracts all over the place. All right, let's grab you. We've got to borrow your items as well. Did that not work? Oh, that didn't work. Okay, that one went away. That's okay. Um, sewing one is one of the next best ones. Kind of in a harvesting role here, though. It's not a very good harvester. Uh, technically, this one would be able to do both, wouldn't it? Seven and six would be able to use the same header and everything. So if we do this contract and borrow from this contract and do the other one, we should be okay. If it actually lets us pick that one up. It did. All right, work as a full grain tank. One second, my friend. Actually, not going to be very easy to pick up. Sometimes you can fold these headers, but I guess this one does not fold up anymore. All right, let me get you emptied out. Oh, I should slow down time a bit because these, these contracts are going to take us a good chunk of the day. But all these contracts combined are worth a really good amount of money. Are you doing that? Let's get you off the road at least. Let's get you out of the path. And let's get you driving again. <laughs> so many vehicles. Too bad we're not doing this corn. And we're going for field seven, which is just above field eight. Honestly, I think we can get there fastest. Just take the shortcut across here. Because why not? I think the days of pretending to not destroy another guy's crops that we can't actually destroy are <laughs> kind of behind us, baby. At this point, we just got to get stuff done.
Sure, it's kind of dark for a uh, for the daytime, but I guess it's because the sun's still kind of behind the mountains. Seven is a fairly square field, isn't it? Let's get you a little bit of a header here, because I don't think you'll be able to do this otherwise. Lower header, unfold harvester. Hold your horse's car. Turn it on. I actually think harvesting corn is kind of cool looking. <laughs> the way it kind of wiggles down as it gets eaten up. Don't know if that was enough of a header, but... Honestly, I kind of have my doubts, but we're going to go ahead and get it going anyway. In fact, I actually don't think this is as straight as I thought it was, so we'll come back and fix it later. Alright, so uh, you're going to come empty this guy out. Which probably means you're going to be full at this point. Ah, that cotton harvesting is actually going pretty fast. Alright, you're full enough. Let's get you dropped off. This whole day, this whole episode obviously is going to be contracts. I mean, there's, there's, we got a lot of good contracts. It's just too hard to uh, pass those up, especially the sugar beets one. We have to do the sugar beets one because we need that for the chocolate. And while we're doing that one, again, we might as well do the other. So definitely going to be a full day. Sugar Beast 1 is going to take a long time. Probably means we can be able, probably means we can do several of the other contracts in the meantime. Truth be told, we could take another harvesting contract. Actually, I'm going to take the other uh, one that can do the, sun, the sunflower seed one because it can do the corn header. I'm just going to take it just to make sure it doesn't go away. Um, we're just going to accept it, but not borrow items. Cool. Uh, I got a few other co types of contracts that we could definitely do as well. Field aid's already 30% complete. Um, how much? So this is field 13, right? We had 173,000 more liters. Oof, that's a lot of, a lot of trips, guys. A lot of trips. Full of crane tank already. Let's get you emptied out. Right, I know you don't have that much more. I guess we could try and grab that other trade. It's just not easy to back up to. That's the reason I didn't bother. Don't want to fight it. 
And this trailer's going to be good enough. I mean, that trailer's just enough to survive us to getting back with this one, to be perfectly honest. So it's sufficient for now. And by survive, of course, harvesting sugar beets is life and death, I guess. Why wouldn't it be? Alright, so you're back, ready to go. Um, you're still doing your thing. About to actually drop a bale here in a moment, so I guess I should get you head in that direction. Whoa, that was kind of weird. <laughs> I'm not sure what that was, but whatever. Now, of course, the cool thing about that John Deere harvester is that it will should well actually it should drop the bales automatically. Uh, if I forgot to turn that on, I suppose it might not, but we'll see here in a moment. All right. You are actually both, we have two harvesters nearly full, so we're gonna get you over here. Again, not super urgent on this one because it'll just put the bale there and we can pick it up later, but. Might as well get it over here. Alright, so we got one that's got a full grain tank. It is almost you. You've almost got a full one. So let's get this guy emptied out real quick. And then we can go get the corn guy over there as well. I say emptied. A couple thousand more liters, I suppose. See if I can get you driving over to the store. All right, head over to the store, my friend. If you can. It looks like you're going to be okay. You are full. Let's grab you. Bump it up, bump it up. <laughs> All right, you got big old tractor tires. Smells well drive over everything in your path. Actually, this other guy's done already as well. Let's get him emptied out since we're already pretty close. And this one's going to be the one that takes the longest anyway. You're good to go. You're good. You're good. You're almost there. You're good. You're good. You're waiting and you're good. All right, let's go. <laughs> Lots of tractors going on right now. I actually kind of like it. I like having all the business and stuff. Kill dates already out halfway halfway done. Alright, 
you're going you're almost you're good actually you're here so let's get you dropped off and yeah not even quite 20 percent ready done with 13 but that's all right we're getting there Honestly, all these contracts might actually give us enough to get the sugar mill. Again, going back to the fact that we don't really have land to put it on. Alright. Let's get you headed over here. Close enough. You're already dropped one, right? No. Oh, it's right behind us. <laughs> it's literally... I'm doing all right, guys. I was looking for it on the ground. It's literally hanging off my rear end. Oh, boy. All right, let's get you out of the way real quick before I forget. Uh, I need to go pick up some stuff. All right, we're actually going to go ahead and put a cut in there. Um, oh, he's not quite done yet. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in there because, I don't know, might as well. It's a good time. And uh, I'm probably going to let this run for just a little bit between episodes, but we will probably have an entire episode next next episode of more contract stuff as well. Because, honestly, like I said, I mean, I don't want to do contracts all the time, but these contracts, especially this one right here, is very much tied directly to us making chocolate. So... It's part of the process. So anyway, I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.